morning everyone and welcome back to our channel so this morning we are on our way to see the Alicante castle and the best way to get there because of time is to go by taxi but it's such a small town and if you want to get around I think you can walk to most of the places here but if you can't walk then taxis are quite reasonable reasonably priced and yes you're more than welcome to take a taxi they also have a tram that can go from place to place uh there's a bus i think there's a bus around isn't it i've not there really are, seen I've, seen, I've seen buses oh, local, right. local buses as well oh, okay yep. they've got local buses as well so but everywhere is yeah. like within a kilometer walk because yesterday it? we did a kilometer walk that's right before we go on the tour bus and kilometer walk into the city center and mm. then branching off into other parts then we did the tour bus and then from the hotel to the um, shopping district is even less than a kilometer so exactly yeah, everywhere is within a, a walking distance a walking distance if you so, love walking yeah and i recommend that you all walk <laughs> <laughs> and from our hotel the beach is right across there as well so everywhere is accessible so definitely yes do so uh, let's take you to the castle let's have a look are breathtaking already so he's taking us all the way up the mountain I think it's one of the tallest mountains I've seen here I mean uh, it's quite prominent yeah, in the city mountains. More mountains on, on the other side on the left, yeah. yeah but it's quite prominent wherever you are you see the castle um, just in your face basically I was at the beach this morning and I could see it right up there so that's where we're going at the moment at um, Castillo de Santa Barbara which is um, already the scenery is breathtaking um, we love doing things like this learning about the history and all that and I've just spotted um, culinary experience oh, okay you, you can sit somewhere within the, um, the castle yeah on the mountain and eat and um, obviously you can have wine, wine and chocolates and cheese tapas and yeah so that that must be a very a good experience isn't yeah, it really i good. think we should try it yeah it says chocolate taste oh actually chocolate and wine tasting that's right and chocolate wine and tapas tastings mm -hmm. um from nine euros definitely we're so going to try that we're going to do that we're um, going to do that and obviously we're going to go through the, sh the, the shop. shop and then go to the meeting point and wait for our english tour guide marie sounds like the tour guide already the way she gave all the information. Are you seeing what I'm seeing through the lens? Jesus Christ, this is breathtaking. Just look at that. It's amazing, isn't it? Though? She's taking it all in. It's amazing.
well, uh, what we are going to see, first of all, we are going down to see the cistern, this tank of water, okay, because they made this in the 16th century just to store it the rainwater, okay, that it's normally closed, but it's only available to see with the tour, okay. So we come back here to see the use of prison, because in the 19th century, the 20th century, they use the whole castle as a prison. So we are going to see what happened with the Civil War, uh, just after the Civil War, and also what happened exactly in the city of Alicante because suffered a lot due to was supporting the Republic. Okay, it's complicated, but I want to explain you. You are going to understand what happened more or less here in Alicante. Later, we are going to be inside this building to explain the history of Alicante. All the civilizations that have been here: the uh, Greeks, the Catalan Kingdom, the Roman Kingdom, until today, until the city of Alicante and the first castle, the first city around this area that was from the Muslim Kingdom. The Muslim Kingdom was the first one to use this area and this mountain. Okay, so I'm going to explain you that. The evolution of the castle, you are going to see more clear with the illustration of these reconstructions. And later, we are going to see what happened with the succession war. I repeat, it was very important because the castle and the city was almost destroyed. <laughs> to later, go out, make some exercise going up to see the second part of the castle, to see the oldest part because we are going to see the castle in reverse. We are going to see from the newest part of the castle, but this is going to see in theory the oldest part that was the Alcantara, the highest part of the castle that normally was around with these rooms, towers, all of that. Okay, so we are going to see all of that in this 40 50 minutes. Any doubt you can ask me, there's no problem. So let's go. Lovely, go. thank Let's you. Go. So because we're not experts, we're going to leave it to the tour guide to speak to you and explain everything to you. Um, we'll shut up at this time and let you speak. So with these barriers, they fill the cistern, and if they are going to use this for a long time, if we are going to have water stuck, will be corrupt. That's why they had to adapt the structure for the water. So they made like a paste with salt to put around the walls, just to avoid the bacteria. Not too much because it's not will be obviously the salty water, but just the end of salt for these bacteria. Yeah, no, I'm telling you. 
Oh my goodness. Incredible. Beautiful views. that was the 25th of May of the 1958. The Italian army with the airplanes attacked the central market. That's why if you have been in the central market just behind in the main square in the floor, you're going to see this steel memorial for all these victims because uh, uh, many citizens were killed in this attack. And that's why uh, we have underneath in the new part of the city out of shelters to be safe because it was very common this attack. Okay. And in this case, it uh, wasn't uh, too long this moment in the 40s, in the 50s, more or less, ends this use of prison. And fortunately, lead you to the touristic boom we have with Benidorm, the sun and beach. So little by little, they decide to use the landmarks of the city for the tourism. In the 60s, the mayor of the city decided to use, well, to make the promenade of the Esplanada, the mosaic with the 6 million mosaic the, between the palms, and the leaf that unfortunately is not working, but the leaf it's uh, oh, yeah. we are inside mm -hmm. the mountain that goes 140 meters inside the mountain. And after that, in the 1963, was the heritage of Spain, because all of that, the castle. So it's being the cultural big because here it's the heritage of Spain. And the last part. underneath with the power block what was we'll used like that. But in the 19th, 20th century, we suppose it was used as a prison, okay, underneath, one way, just go in and out. So the elements that you are seeing surrounding us as are some uh, elements of uh, torture and execution, okay? This, uh, this was used in the Civil War and just after with this dictatorial mode with Franco, okay, because uh, it's complicated to explain, but uh, horrible ones for Spain due to the repression. So basically, everyone who was against Franco um, in anything was killed or in jail. We are going to see all the civilizations that have been here in Alicante, the Greeks, the Cardinal Kingdom, the Roman Kingdom, all these names, and also the evolution of the castle. We're going to see very clear who was the castle and this evolution, but now. I want to explain you why we don't have the charts because this was the chart <laughs> and was here 99 years between the 1715 to the 1812. Um, basically, the magazine of gunpowder was just on the left, but there were some problems with the structure, some floods. So every time they had a storm, they moved these barrels to different places. And that night of the 1812, they decided to move these 20 barrels of gunpowder inside the church. In theory, there was no problem. The problem was the person that was in charge of these barrels. That was a little bit messy, peculiar, curro, currito, was the person, and maybe drunk. So he decided to smoke a cigarette, so oh. he took, flew into the hill <laughs> and destroyed the whole church. In addition, this was in the middle of the independence war, so the whole castle thought that was the French army who attacked. So it was a mess, basically. It was a mess this night. Due to the explosion, was unexpected, obviously, and out of buildings suffered a lot, soldiers. So that was happened, and they put the arts to see how was the main structure with this backup. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
And in the other hand, the Osages alliance with England. Okay, so basically, here in Alicante, it was between the England army and the French army to understand. And in the 1706, here was a role in church, Castilla, something like that, that was supporting France. So the England army didn't have a harbor around this Mediterranean coast, so they decided to attack to conquer the city and the castle. That's why right. between the 1000 and the 706 to the 1709, the England army was here in the castle where we have this flag in the corner. So uh, between these three years, they decided to rebuild some buildings, some structures, and they knew that the French army will attack again, will make an attempt to conquer the castle. So they decided to fill the cistern as much as possible, okay, to have this amount of water. And all the rooms that we are seeing from the old Alcazaba, all these towers, Obviously, in our world, uh, is, uh, was pointless for them. So, what they decide? Take it with a step. They decide to get rid of all of that structure, all of these things, just to put the cannons. Basically, that's what happened. And why? When we finish the visit, we are going to see that the highest part of the castle is flat. It's empty. It's very unusual because normally in the castles we should have this tower, the rules, but the England army decide that. And now. We are seeing in the last illustration, we compare with the second one, it's a completely different castle, okay? It's totally different. Why? Due to the end of the succession war. We're going to explain you, we're going to explain you later the details and how it ends because it's very important for the city and also the castle. And right now we are here in the second floor of the barrack. This building, I didn't say, but it's one of the newest buildings of the castle, it was just a barrack for the soldiers, but they decided to rebuild the walls, the roof. And the floor, it's original from the castle, but not from this room, because you're going to see names of the prisoners that we have seen there also, because this floor was used in another place that was used as a prison. It's just the university where we have these names here also. Until the 19th century, the 20th century, the use of prison, and this is just to understand the last makeup they made for the tourism, okay? The last reconstruction, the last thing for the tourism to adapt for the tourism is the last part of the 20th century until today we are right now so more or less this is the first part of the visit but we have seen the history of the castle and this room that normally are closed now we're going to make some exercise to see the second part of the castle to see the succession do they have the church in any of these phases <coughs> sorry do they have the church building in any of these phases mm, no the date you mean or church building you know the church, church that was destroyed? Ah, no, did, did they have it? In this if case, anything, it should be in the first one, shouldn't it? Uh, because, I don't know, maybe they, mm, when they find the books and the, the things, they, they, when they research, yes. they didn't uh, maybe capture find, they didn't capture the, that's right, the, the drawings. Charts, and yeah. That's why they never put the... That's the right. In this case, in the modern one, they just use the, the location. But yeah. Yeah. it's curious, but uh, it's a, Anyway, so that's, so that's that the location, isn't it? In the Submission <laughs> trying to get up here, but hey, we made it. One of these attacks, uh, the one of the most important one in the 1691, 
the French army attacked the whole city more than seven days, and that's why the city was totally destroyed from 200 houses we goes to 200. And the city hall, you have seen, it's very new and it's new because the last one was destroyed, and this uh, current city hall was built in the 1780. So it's start this process of the structure of the castle. So now we are going to see which plan the site. The French army to conquer the castle, get the castle because it was very really hard for them due to these cannons in the highest part of the castle it was see? impossible for the French army. So now we are going to see what happened exactly with this England army and the French army. Okay? Obviously. So 18 and you can see these marks, big signs. These signs are the mark of the stove mill. You can see the castle, the arrow. Why? Because it was really hard to make these stones. That's why they signed with his own mark. We can see the, the mark because it was the only way to know to knew who made it to get paid. What the system is right. That's right. He put his own mark uh -huh. in the stones just yeah, to get paid. <laughs> I've been fighting that. Wow. That's right. This the sillería. The sillería is this method. It was the most difficult one and the most expensive. That's why. So we just saw a few cannonballs on the wall um, that demarcate or shows that the castle has been attacked in the past before because evidence of cannonballs on the wall was shown as I showed you earlier. So the toy is quite interesting but let's carry on. So just uh, this building was made by the Indian Army show you here what happened exactly. So in the castle, the governor Richards from the England Army was here in the castle and they destroyed the Alcantara for the cannon so it was impossible for the French army to conquer the castle. So what they decided, they decided to call one of the most important generals in those moments of what the general does fail. So this general decided a different plan, a very peculiar plan that was to back a tunnel in the bottom of the mountain to later fill it with more than 10,000 gunpowder to destroy the mountain, the castle of the England army. There was a plan, this happened between the February and March of the 1709. So the England army discovered this mine, so they decided to make a countermine. The mine is what you just before. This is a countermine from here. They decided to try to dig a countermine to make at the same level. So basically, it was just to made a countermine at the same level of the original mine in case it exploded just to be less effective to use it. So we are climbing to the highest part of the mountain and that will show us the whole city. Ah, it's a mission I'm telling you, so high. We are stuck here one second away. Okay. from the ships of the navy of Spain who uh, were about as young and this had to put here but are not from the castle. Okay? The last two cannons from the castle was given to the England army after they surrendered with the French army. Okay? That's why the last two cannons 
of the castle are in the British Museum of London. Uh -huh. So now let's continue the highest part. So a few more steps, and even going much higher to see the views of the city. So we're going to climb a few more steps. And now two minutes. Listen, yeah, do us in the hall. This is just two minutes. You can make a photo if you want. Okay, no. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so come here one moment. I comment a few things, and you are free to make the photo. Okay. So there, you can see the gap of the mine. You can see there. Yeah. This gap in, from the harbor is even bigger. It's from there, this small tower, yeah. until the Spanish flag. And you can see the small gap from here. This is due to the explosion of the mine. That's yeah. why this part of the castle is near what we built. Okay? Yeah. And in front of, yes, under the earth of the sand, you can see the island of Tabalca. The island that's behind the harbor is in front of. This is the oh, island. Yeah. It was very important for the Roman age, for the pirates also to the first of the city, and was very important. On the left side of the city, these cave farms, just behind the mountain, was used for the first civilization, the Roman kingdom, the Muslim kingdom, well, sorry, the, Mas the Greek kingdom, all the civilization just before the Muslim kingdom that used this area. And on the left side, there you can see a small fortress in the Swiss. This fortress was made in the 19th century to stop the French and the Napoleon who conquered the city because the last two cities never get, never been under the uh, Napoleon were Cadiz and Cadiz because they sent that soldiers to Russia, to the campaign of Russia and this is why we have this fortress here, okay? And you can see all the mountains we have around because Alicante have this privileged weather due to all these mountains that stop Wow, wow, wow. Ah, what can I say? So this is it. This is it. That is the topmost part of this castle. And from here you can see every part of the city. I'll say no more, but I think you've heard everything from the tour guide. So let me just show you things. Let me just show you what I see. Give, just give the me all. The ambience is something else. Yeah. Give, give us all the adjectives. Just write them down in the comments. Adjectives, synonyms, <laughs> whatever you want to give to describe the scenery. Oh, it's just amazing. Man, it's just beautiful. amazing. We've enjoyed it, guys. Yeah. We've enjoyed it. We're going to pause here and just soak take it, all it all in, in and take photos. Exactly. Yeah, and just create memories. And then we're off to our wine tasting. Wine, cheese and tapas tasting. Can you imagine? So the beauty of sightseeing is that you get to hear about the history of a place you learn lots and take it home with you forever and ever it sticks in your memory and i just want to add this when they say travel and see and you know for those of you who followed us for a long time i've mm. always i've always been telling you that that was my mother's mantra yeah there's there's connections yeah this whole world is connected we are all connected because as the tour guide was giving the history he mentioned other cities that we've been fortunate enough to have been to in Spain. Places so, like Alhambra. Alhambra, exactly. Cadiz and Cadiz. all that. 
So it kind of brought the history all home for us. That's right. Whereas if you haven't been, and through no fault of anybody's, but if you haven't been, then it'll be disjointed, he, isn't it? Exactly, it'll yeah. be disjointed information yeah. and you yeah. probably have to go and do extra research. That's right. But if you've been and you've seen, particularly like where we are now, he was telling us the history of the Muslim invasion and how because there isn't enough water here or there wasn't at the time even though they've got the mediterranean ocean just right there um there's a place there's a system in the, in the castle where they used to capture rainwater, but they weren't getting enough rainwater. so the muslim kingdom at the time preferred to stay in alhambra rather than and, here rather than here and it made a lot of sense to us because we've been to alhambra before and we've seen the castle there um, and it's very islamic dominated we could make sense out of what he was saying so travel to other parts of the of europe or wherever you are to learn more about the world basically yeah, travel about to other, other parts of the world europe america asia and that's UAE, yeah that's when you, explore, you yeah explore. that's when you get to learn that human beings are all connected that's right yeah because even as we're in europe even as we're in spain here they're talking about africa yes. they're talking about muslims they're talking about christians they're talking about everything yes because bear in mind north africa is just on the other side of the mediterranean, mediterranean. so a lot of the history in europe particularly around this part of spain and uh, gibraltar and the rest um involves north africa exactly. now north africa couldn't have done it on their own without tapping into west and east africa so for example when we went to i think it was alhambra um, or so a lot of the history we learned there was about no it was istanbul actually istanbul yeah istanbul. where they brought, they brought a lot soldiers. of yeah uh, from military, yes, from Sudan That's in right. particular, because so, of their their physique, yeah. their strength, and, and all their that. loyalty, and their loyalty. And their loyalty. That was the key to thing. Come, yeah, their loyalty yeah. coming to come and guard the queens and the female royals. That's right. Because they were very loyal. Yeah, loyal to the king, to the yeah. male, to the male exactly um, um, royals. Exactly, to so powerful people, the male uh, power dominated yeah. people. So, so the essence of our story is that just travel yeah. and see. Yeah. Summarize, just travel and see and learn. Learn about other cultures, try there their foods, go. try, you know, anything, their clothing, their language. And we're just enjoying speaking our little Spanish buenos dias, buenos tardes, <laughs> buenos noches with the taxi driver. Hola, hola, that's hola. all I know. <laughs> yeah, como es that. But guys, please subscribe to our channel to learn more. We'll be bringing you more of these from around the world. So subscribe to our channel.